right now, Lulu. We're in this together. What about Lourdes? Oh, this is fine. I talked it down. She's not gonna tell anyone who we really are. Do you are. think because she has a major crush on you that she's in your corner? Ooh, somebody's jealous. No, I am scared. Oh, this is fine. I mean, what's the harm of a little crush if it's gonna help her keep our secret? The Zakar has killed her father. A part of her has to want revenge. Is that what you would say if it were your father? Yes. I don't blame you for what your family has done. I know that you're different, but Lourdes doesn't. She may be quiet for now, but eventually she's going to want more. She can't have more. Why Lourdes? Trust me, I'm not blaming Lourdes. She sees the cutest guy in the world, and she knows his deepest, darkest secret, and she sees that as an emotional connection. Eventually she's going to try and seal it with a kiss, and you're going to turn her down, and she'll be upset, and who knows what she's going to do, but it's going to be bad. You've got it all figured out, don't you? Even if she doesn't go to the police, I could see her telling this whole story to her brother. So before we have some lovesick piano student and her gangbanger brother breathing down our necks, we need to figure out what we're going to do. It's Lourdes. Johnny, uh, are you busy? Hey, Claudia, it's Nicholas. I appreciate a call back from you. I still haven't heard from Lulu. I need to know if your brother's gotten in touch with me. Thanks. Bernard? That's what you're paying me for. Need some help? No, oh, thanks. You've helped enough. I don't trust me to do this either. <laughs> I mean, rearranging the coffee bar is a long way from going undercover and trying to incriminate Matt Hunter. I'm going to apologize for stopping. Stop. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. We need to stop before someone catches us. You know, the only good thing about this separation is it makes me want you more. The worst is just pretending that we don't care about each other. Here to help? No, no, I'm sorry, but can I speak with you? Maybe we can go in the back room. Hi. There are some patients in the back, but I can give you some privacy. It's not like I have anything better to do. Is she okay? Yeah, she'll get over. Hmm. What's going on? Well, I hate to bother you with this again, but I am still really worried about Lucky. Well, I emailed them to you five minutes ago, and as soon as you take a look at them, we can put the story to bed. All right, listen, you whacked out. Thank you so much, Marcel. You have no idea how grateful Kate will be. Excuse me, I'm conducting business here. Where is my garage door? Open? How would you like it if someone just barged into the OR while you were performing surgery? Oh, that's right. No one trusts you enough okay, to like perform surgery. You stole surgery. my garage door, but I couldn't get my car out of the garage to get the surgery. Uh, I am very busy. I have better things to do than play. Who took my garage door remote with you? Okay, look, I, I get that you don't like me. Really, I don't care. Join the club. You don't think you've earned it? I get up, I go to work. I mind my own business. I come home. You I ate my tofu. No, 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 no. I see. I don't. I don't touch the stuff. It disappeared, along with Max Baloney. Oh wait, by tofu? Do you mean that gelatinous white substance that looked like it was grown in a petri dish? Because, like, I put that down the disposal. The disposal didn't even like it. But the bologna was great. Thank you. <sighs> you have your own shelf in our refrigerator, so feel free to buy yourself some groceries and put them on it. I, I was hungry, and, and, and the bologna looked great, and it was delicious, actually. So can I just get my garage door open right now? If you lost it, you're going to have to pay to replace it, or better yet, just find another place to live, okay? No, really, I like where I live. The location's great, and it bugs the crap out of you, so, I mean, really, it's perfect. Cold giving more consideration to a course of action vis-a-vis -vis Mr. Sir's dealings with the Russian royal. I haven't said anything yet. It may be seen as a sign of weakness to dally for too long. I mean, even if Mr. Sir considers sharing his knowledge of the inner workings of his former organization, it could give the Russian rogue an opportunity to formulate an attack plan. I can't believe something's going to give Karpov anything that's going to hurt me. Your faith in Mr. Sir is, is touching, if not a bit misplaced, given that he's having secret meetings with the enemy. I don't, I don't know what so he's doing, Spinelli. Yes. Jason, I'm due to file these articles of incorporation at the courthouse. Give us a minute, please. Thank you. 
So how long have you known Sonny's been working with Andre Karpov? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were in the middle of a meeting. Right, yeah, no, no. Um, <laughs> I just couldn't wait to see you. Uh, yeah. um, we were just finishing up. Uh, how was your trip? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. So. Oh, you two shouldn't delay your reunion for me. Your wife is charming. Oh, actually, we're not quite married yet, but I do like the sound of that, your wife. <sighs> Kate Howard, uh, the future Mrs. Corinthos, this is Andre Karpov. Mr. Karpov, it's a pleasure. Indeed. I will find my own way out. No, I'll let you out. I'll let you out. Goodbye. We'll do it again. Yeah. I miss you. <laughs> so, yeah. Andre Karpov, I don't remember you mentioning him. Why, well, probably not. He's, he's new. Mm-hmm. Look at you. Taking over the world without any ties to the mob. Forget about that. How, how, how was Paris? Oh, Paris. Paris is far too romantic a city not to be with the one that you love. I can't wait to be there with you. Next time, I promise. You promise? Yeah. Mm. So, hmm? what have you been doing while I was away? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Just missing you, basically, mm -hmm. you know. But you're here now, so, uh, make it up to me. All right.